The Pasco County School Board could undergo a major change on Election Day. Three of its five seats are now on the ballot. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler looks at what is driving the race. Conservatives are trying to maintain control of the Pasco County School Board. There are incumbents and newcomers on the ballot. And political consultant Sean Foster with Sunrise Consulting Group says school board elections are getting more attention than ever before. Obviously, people get riled up. They get riled up about their children's education. They get riled up about politics. So you take those two and you've merged those together. And that's what's kind of created this environment right now. District 1 is open after the retirement of Alan Altman. Al Hernandez, a health care executive and former professor, got an endorsement from Governor Ron DeSantis. Business owner Steve Meisman is also running, saying he will remove the woke agenda and wants to be a strong voice for parents. James Washington is a graduation enhancement teacher at Pasco High School and has won the county's Teacher of the Year Award twice. Cynthia Armstrong is running to keep her seat in District 3. She's pushing for the property tax referendum to boost employee salaries and expanding technical education. Matt Geiger will try and unseat her. He's the director of student services at Bishop McLaughlin Catholic School and became interested in joining the school board after struggling to find special education services for his own children. Finally, District 5 is where former teacher Megan Harding surprised many by winning in the last election. She wants to see raises for staff and parents more engaged and involved. Retired chiropractor Charles Tussell is running against Harding. He wants to promote patriotism in the schools and stop what he calls forced indoctrination. School board races may not get the publicity of other elections, but Foster says they mean a lot. School board members really direct a lot in our lives, whether it's the really education and the policy for our students or actually tax items on, on how they put, you know, millage rates or um, taxing on, on your property. Two school board members, Colleen Badeau in District 2 and Allison Crumbly in District 4, are not up for re-election. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.